Today I'm going to show you how to access and enter in the code for your Allen Math course. So the first thing you'll want to do is go to our web page and you'll want to click on the link for Canvas. Many of you may already be familiar with Blackboard. We're moving from Blackboard to Canvas, so you'll click on Canvas. You'll use the same login and username that you used for, Can for, for Blackboard in Canvas. And so that should be your student ID number. And your password should be the first four letters of your last name, last four digits of your social. This is going to let you log into the course. Now, once you've logged in, over here in your inbox, you'll see it lit up with a number. And this is going to give you your code that you'll need to access this course. It's also in your Allen email account. If you don't have the access code, that means you might still owe for the course. And it you can contact your instructor first, and you can also, if you need to, to get a bill situation taken care of, you can contact our business office. And the lady you'll want to speak with is Melissa Johnson. And she can look and see if you owe a bill, and if you do, she can help you pay that bill. So once you've paid for the course, you're going to get an email that shows you your summer math code. Please, please, please do not share this code with anyone else. This is a one-time use code, and it is your code. If you share this with someone else, you will not be able to access the course. So do not share any, this code with anyone else. Now, you'll get a code, a scanned-in copy like this, and it's going to have your access code. Yours may come in an email. It's just going to depend upon how your instructor chooses to do it. But in this email that you get somewhere, you're going to have an access code. You'll use that access code. You can either print it off or write it down. You'll use that code to register for the course. So once we're ready to register for the course, then we just go back to our courses here. We we'll go back to our, our course that we're wanting to register. You'll want to go into the My Math Lab and Mastery. Now, you may have to enable your pop-ups. So you can follow the directions if you need to. Everyone has different browsers, but you can click on the help link here to show you how to, how to enable pop-ups if you need to. So you're going to go ahead and click on the My Math Lab and Mastery. You'll have a EULA that's going to come up. You're going to have to accept that EULA to get started, and then you'll get to this screen. Now, some of you may already have a Pearson account. If you've taken a, a, a math course with us, you already have a Pearson account. And you can log in on the left-hand side over here. However, most of you are not going to have a Pearson account. So you're going to need to create your own account. So you're going to walk through the steps to create your own account. So you'll want to click the Create Your Own Account. Again, if you already have one, you can just log in. So let's go ahead and create our own account. You'll want to use your email address. Now, I recommend using your Allen email address. So that's what we're going to use. And then your username. You can use your email address as your username or a different one. I think it's going to be helpful that everyone just uses your Allen email address as your username. That will be easy to keep track of things. So make sure you, you, you register with your Allen email address. You can register with a different email address, but I think it would be more beneficial for you if you use your Allen one. That way if something happens, we can reset it for you. So make sure you type in your email address correctly. So your email address is going to be your student ID number at allencc.edu. 
and then you'll need to create a password. Now, you can use whatever password you would like. What I kind of recommend is just use your 4x4, four four, but make sure your first, the first letter of your 4x4 four four is capitalized. But again, you can use whatever password you would like. Now you'll need to type in your, your name here. And this will show up in my grid book, so make sure that you, you use the name that you want to have displayed in the grid book. And then you click on the security code here. And then you'll want to click on the agree to the terms of the course. Um, if you're a high school student, you'll click here. I usually click. I don't want to receive any information about Pearson products, but that's up to you. And then you'll create your account. Now, on this screen, you're going to enter your access code. So what you'll do is you'll click on the access code here. And then here is where you're going to enter that access code. So you'll look back at that email. And behind the, the scratch off, you'll see your code. And you're going to enter the code in the boxes here. Once you're done with that, you'll click Finish, and that will enroll you in the My Math Lab course. And then once you're in there, then you can just get right back to Canvas and start your assignments. If you ever have any questions, you can always contact your instructor, and that may, might be me, or that might be a different instructor. So always contact your instructor first with any questions that you might have.